and welcome to the Senior Hour, which is sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care and Advanced Audiology. I'm Barbara Carkin with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, KHTS. This is a show for, about, and by seniors, giving information to enhance one's quality of life. And speaking of quality of life, mine included, <laughs> <laughs> we're welcoming this morning Dr. Thomas Palucky. Welcome, sir. It's great to be here. That's yes, right. again. And I haven't seen enough of you, have I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we should mention, Thomas, that it, Barb's birthday was on Monday. Yeah. And she's a young 81 years old. Yoo-hoo. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we started, uh, we've been doing this show. You were in your 70s. You were in but the, I was, you're, no. You're in your, you were in your 60s. 60s. You were in your right. 60s that's when right. you started this show. That's amazing. Isn't it, though? Cause Still this, going strong. Well, this is our 14th year, is it? I think so, something like that. That's a long time. Wow. <laughs> That's a That's long time. That's amazing. But, you know, longevity is the key for seniors as well, and they're living longer and uh, living better lives. Yes. Right? And, yes. Um, you know, part of that is what Dr. Palucky does in helping our seniors move along and assure that uh, they not only get good care, but they get, get good information on how to extend their life. Yeah, yeah. Um, nobody really wants to live to be a hundred if they're miserable. If their quality of yeah, life if, is poor, that's if, right. If, you know, if it hurts to move, if it hurts to get out of bed in the morning, if you've got digestive issues and uh, it, it heaped on top of everything that just being in your eighties or nineties mm-hmm. or whatever, where you're losing friends and losing family Absolutely. on a regular basis Absolutely. just just that psychological yeah, that stress alone is can be overwhelming but when your Absolutely. body starts betraying you when your body isn't able to get up and move anymore that just is not okay for anybody and uh, here's, here's the true. other side of that though is that um, some people in their 40s start feeling that way yeah and you know they're not typically losing friends and having the psychologic uh, problems related to it, but they're starting to feel it. And you should start early with good habits of health uh, so that your quality Mm -hmm. of life continues to be enhanced as you move through life, 50s, 60s, and 70s. We put so much, so I should say so little uh, emphasis on health education in this country Uh, our idea of health education is what drug do you take for what condition and that Mm -hmm. comes to us courtesy of the people who make a heck of a lot of money by making us believe that that is health Mm -hmm. this is what health is health is well if you have this ache or pain you take two of these instead of eight of these all day long or if you have this um, diarrhea dance you take this pink cement goop stuff (laughs) and if you know if you've got an acid you do this if you've got allergy you do this if you've got cold and flu you better get your shots all this all this is what we believe health equals in this country and And we're kind of well we're kind of unique in that because there's so much money at stake Mm -hmm. the drug companies in this country alone are the seventh largest economy on the planet yeah, something. It's bigger than I mean, it's 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 out of control. So with so much money at stake, just don't think that you have. I mean, you have to really look hard for what is really going to keep you healthy because mm-hmm. there's a lot of money at stake at not necessarily keeping you healthy, but making you a lifelong customer mm-hmm. of a product that is known to be have numerous side effects regardless of what drug you're you're taking and there's so much misinformation out there and it it is almost you know i'm not like conspiracy guy but it starts in your education process Mm -hmm. and the medical education process is all funded (laughs) well not completely funded but largely funded by the drug companies, all the research that gets done, all the is health science research that gets done in this country is funded by pharmaceuticals. 
So they have a vested interest in making you buy their product. Here's the other side of the coin that came to light earlier this week with the appointment of, um, I think he was going to be a head of a department, uh, but it was found that this uh, legislator was being given money by the pharmaceutical companies, and what he made a law, uh, and I think he was given about $180,000 by the pharmaceutical companies, but made a law that the DEA could not intervene in um, uh, the opioids that were being distributed in right. the United States. And by doing that, it enhanced the distribution of not drugs that you buy legally or get a prescription for, but drugs that you get on the street, and that has made our our um, opioid crisis even worse. And, you know, I'm sometimes offended uh, when they're pointing fingers at doctors and solely doctors for writing prescriptions. And some people, some doctors do that. But when you have a pharmaceutical company that has always enhanced the prescription selling of their medication, but yet now they've done it with medication that is illegal and made a crisis in this country, that's an abomination. And that needs to be addressed, and it's not going to be addressed because the companies will squash that information. There's so much of that. Unfortunately, money talks, and it buys the votes, it buys the laws, it makes health care not I've seen this even in my lifetime. I'm sure there's always been corruption, but when, when I grew up in a medical family and I didn't hear that kind of talk 45 years ago, but I, it got to the point where every one of my medical professionals in my family got out. Mm -hmm. One way or another, they got out because really? it got so bad and so out of control that they could no longer do what they were trained to do, what they were educated to do, what they thought was right and try and help people. They were forced out of the profession one way or another. I think they realize that despite the fact that money talks, it doesn't mean that you have to listen. And because they had their morals, scruples, and ethics that they had to follow, they said, I'm not going to be a part of this. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me, yeah. which many other physicians and medical professionals should be adhering to. Well, there, here's the silver lining in this whole uh, health care meltdown that we've been experiencing for not just this past few months, but for quite some time now. The silver lining is that for the first time you're hearing about medical doctors being on a cash basis. Mm -hmm. You're hearing about hospitals being on a cash basis. Complete institutions being on a cash basis. Now I know that it may be disturbing to some people mm -hmm. who rely on their Medicare benefits for everything, but that is a facade that is quickly falling apart. And we're seeing now that there are certain people who aren't willing to play that game anymore, who aren't willing to jump through all the hoops and lie about what is going on with the patient just so that they can get paid anything much less get paid a fair wage for it. And this has been building up for decades, and now it's just to the point where it can't be sustained anymore. You're gonna, it, there, there is no option. There are going to be radical changes that make the Affordable Health Care Act look like a blip on the radar. Mm -hmm. Well, cash payments, you know, that's in vogue. And some doctors have concierge practices or cash payment practices. They're different. Um, but, you know, you have to realize that there are many more people these days that don't have cash. I know. And so yes. they're going to be, they're going to not get care. Now, the bad part about this for the taxpayer is that if somebody is really ill, they're going to go to the emergency room. And the emergency room, by law, cannot turn them away. By law cannot transfer them, and by law has to take care of them. Uh, if there is insurance with those who are on the ACA, Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, uh, then the emergency room and the hospital gets paid. 
But with the cutbacks and people having no insurance now and having to pay cash or not have the cash at all, they will use the emergency rooms, mm -hmm. and the hospitals will lose money on that tremendously. So it's a huge threat to the stability of uh, many hospitals who are borderline uh, now in this area and in California and across the nation. Okay, so enough doom and gloom. What's the real answer? <laughs> the real answer is, is not waiting until you're in the emergency room That's to right. make your health a priority. That's right. And, and pretty much, the, okay, so since World War II, about 60 countries have been tracking their health care statistics, mm -hmm. and they file a report every year, and we have not broken into the top 10. 20 or 30, 30 for 60 years now, mm -hmm. which That's is so disturbing. Is we believe, you know, we're, we're, we believe because we see it in the headline news, you know, diplomats from a world around the world come here to get their health care. You know, you, is, when somebody really needs something done, they come to the United States because we believe we have the best, best health care system on the planet. Not necessarily. We definitely have some of the best individuals, mm -hmm. some of the best specialists, because they get paid well here. They get paid better here than anywhere else on the planet. However, as far as healthcare statistics, the average person who's not mm -hmm. going to be able to go to that number one doctor in the world for a specific condition, most of us are worse off than in some third world countries in some Absolutely. communist countries mm -hmm. are doing a better job at keeping their average citizen in better health than we are and it's largely because they have a different idea about what health is health isn't about let's find out what pill this person is deficient in health is about well you if you got to go somewhere you're going to walk there for the most part. That's very true. If mm -hmm. you if you've got to drink something, <laughs> most of it's going to be water. That's right. If you have to eat something, most of it is going to be you know either uh, uh, fresh off the you out know the, the market out, uh, of, the out of the garden, or you know out of your backyard because you have some chickens or some goats that you milk or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they live a much simpler life and that's where healthcare really needs to go a more elegant approach to healthcare mm -hmm. it, it's not about how much technology we have that's great in the last moments of life or death crisis where you have this specialist who can not even open your chest to get into your heart or or your brain or or something like that you want that technology available mm -hmm. but you don't want to rely on that mm -hmm. as your major mode of health care no, not at right. all and and unfortunately we don't get this information in in france in kindergarten they're taught about how to eat right and mm -hmm. they they're their their schools aren't funded by the, the vending machines the snack food vending machines and the people who you know i mean who get these children addicted to food-like substances that are actually just a chemical concoction mm -hmm. to make you addicted to the worst kind of anti-nutrition on the planet. And it just goes on and on from there. We, uh, unless there is a way to sell boosters, you know, to sell something for a sports team, uh, physical education is, doesn't even take place. It's, mm -hmm. it's all about the teams. That's the only thing that gets any, any, anywhere. And it used to be that you'd have to walk from class to class and mm -hmm. carry, carry your stuff around. And now it's not. You just sit there for eight hours a day, essentially. Uh, it's, it's disturbing. We used, to have, we used to have recess where you'd go out and run mm -hmm. around on the playground. We used to have gym every day where you actually got physical education because I grew up, you know, with the, the Ken whole Kennedy program. Mm -hmm. You get a little badge yep. and you had to do a certain number of pull-ups yep. and sit-ups and all these exercises. And it's then not you, happening you get anymore. A, you get a merit thing. And I remember I uh, told my nephew that, uh, yeah, I, 
we had to do 60 sit-ups in one minute uh, right. to get a, uh, the highest score. And I told him I did 62. And he said, no way, because he didn't believe that that could be done. But this is what we were doing in those times. And we stayed in pretty good shape. Yeah, we were ran we, I, I can't too. say that we ate well because we were being well, propagandized yeah, by the you, food industry you, and being poisoned sugar by for breakfast, all of that. Yeah. But uh, still, we were exercising. Now we're not exercising, and now we're still not eating good food. The worst thing that we faced in, in our generation was you know, sugar for breakfast, essentially. Yep. Yep. But at least it was sugar. It was real sugar. It's real now sugar. it's not even real sugar. Yeah. These kids are high fructose corn, yeah. a chemical construct that can has to be passed through the liver half a dozen times to try to make any sense of it. The stuff causes liver damage, and they're passing this off as food, as as a food substance. You know, it, talking about all this, I can rem remember as a little girl, we had chickens, because then you were. Aside, you could have one chicken per one egg per week per person. Wow. That was the rationing, mm -hmm. and you, you there was no way you could go over it. So my parents had chickens, yeah. mm -hmm. and I can remember it was my job because I was four years older than my brother. I was the big person. I would go out there and clean out the chicken hutch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was terrible. Fun, fun. We had rabbits also. Yeah. We had a garden full of vegetables. Right. Wow. And it, it was just amazing. Did you eat the rabbits? No, we didn't eat the rabbits. Oh, I just wondered. No. Mm -hmm. I, they Kept were them for Easter. They were my pets. Oh, okay. Two blue rabbits. Blue? blue. Wait, 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 wait. No. Blue? They were blue. They were blue rabbits? Yes. Is that a hybrid? It's, or? An, ang and it's an angora Rabbit. Angora? I thought they you were know, they white. Were, mm. No, they were a gray blue. Gray blue. But I always thought, oh, they're <laughs> blue. You know, blue rabbits. If I saw a blue rabbit, <laughs> I think my cataracts were acting up. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were gray blue. And I'm sure they still have that breed. Sure. I'm sure they do. Oh, wow. What, what were their names? Do you remember? What were their names? Be Beepy and Boppy. <laughs> How'd you get those names? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But they were BP and Boppy. <laughs> nice. Just wondering. A little yeah, off one topic, was a, one was a man, a one was a man, and one was a woman. Wow. BP was the woman. Mm -hmm. And you only had two. I had two. Yeah. <laughs> well, how could you? If the one's a man and one's a woman, you know, after a while, there's going to be more than just two. No. Rabbits. No, because my parents didn't, wouldn't didn't let pull them, them out of a hat. No, they uh. wouldn't let them breed. Oh. We bred them once, and sold them. Oh, oh. that's. A, and that was it. No that's more. Smart. Mm -hmm. right. But we had cockerels, mm -hmm. roosters. Wow. How fun. With hens. And we always had eggs. Always. Wow. But you still That's stayed with the ration. What, did you have extra eggs so that you could pass them out to those who didn't have eggs at all? Or would well, you sell yes. them too? Yeah, we did. We gave them wow, to our neighbors. All. Wow. But it was, it was wonderful. Life. But it the was simple wonderful. life before, but a, but a life that comes straight from the farm, as you said, Barb. That's right. Yeah, Fresh now it doesn't. vegetables, yeah, and it doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't anymore. happen anymore. But you can go to farmer's markets. You and, can, uh, but and, here, here's... And some of these places now have so-called organic... Yeah, yes. but there's no regulation on that. I, 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 and I hate to say this, but I feel more comfortable buying organic at Walmart than I do at a farmer's market because at least Walmart, there's a paper trail, there's accountability. You know that if they're putting an organic sticker on something, at least they've done something yeah, they to try to make sure that it really is. And you'd, unfortunately, as much as I would love to support these roadside stands, you there's no accountability. There's nothing there. They can do anything. And I know some farmers who have confided okay. that it's not. There's no legitimacy to, I mean, unless it's, it, it can go off of a total conventional farm and just put that label on it. Like hmm. there's no accountability. I would just That's think that, you know, they, if they have a website that they want to put on their website that they do indeed have a paper trail that would allow us to see, you know, what they've done. I know that um, you Whole Foods, for instance, yeah. you know, they're... No, don't get me started on Whole Foods. Okay, you Not don't like fan. it, but... Not but, a fan. But the point is, though, there's paper trails with them. And because there's paper trails, you can go back and go on their website and see where this stuff is coming from. Yeah, I would shop at Walmart before I shopped at Whole Foods. 
Right. Well, that's an ongoing debate. Yeah. But the fact is that, you know, food, you know, we have to legitimize where it comes from. And, of course, the best place to get it from is to grow it yourself. That's yeah. fine. You know, when you Always. go Always. You know, all over Newhall, there are people growing their own foods. They've converted their front yards, their fence and front yards to to gardens. Well, that's a little extreme and probably too extreme for most people mm -hmm. to handle, especially a senior audience. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that I grow a lot of produce on my kitchen countertop and it's easier mm -hmm. than anybody thinks mm -hmm. because in the sprouted form like within two three days of germination of that seed sprouting the it's the highest nutrition content that plant will ever have mm -hmm. and so you can get let's say let's just say broccoli sprouts if you're going to sprout broccoli if you have a teaspoon of broccoli spout, sprouts, it's got more nutrition in it than a bushel of broccoli does. And super concentrated. So it's the most efficient form of nutrition. It's the easiest form of nutrition it is. And it's not as hard as most people think. Now there are these plastic sprouting towers. Mm -hmm. Some of them are even automated where they're self-sustaining. I wouldn't get that because you always have to worry about mold and... I know. and fungus and really? and uh, the water not circulating right and all of that it's simple enough there's these plastic towers that you just rinse in the morning rinse at night and in three days you've got a harvest oh wow it, there's nothing to it and as long as you have a reputable company that is supplying you with your seeds yeah. there it, it's the easiest the easiest answer there is there's i don't believe if you can get to the sink if you can you know raise something that weighs a pound and move around you can be a farmer you can be your own organic farmer how do you find a reputable seed person though can uh, you come here i go online no oh, i go online. i go online can nobody here in santa clarita i don't know there you? may be i'm not aware of it because I, again i like accountability i mm -hmm. like paper trails i like documentation and you know <coughs> it's a lot of work to do it any other way than just buy it online it shows up at your door and it's, you know, very reasonably priced. A small bag of seed. I'm still on my original bags of seeds, and I've been doing this for years. They, they last forever. Literally, a teaspoon of seed generates, like, this much sprouts. Yeah. So it's, it's efficient. It's effective. It, it doesn't, it barely costs anything to have the most nutritious food that you can get. And let's say that you're not necessarily into chewing on a bunch of sprouts. Like I know some people that would be an issue for either the taste or the texture, or they just don't have the ability to chew so much anymore. Throw it in a blender and it does all the work for you. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And blended, blended fruits are delicious. They Absolutely are, but here's delicious. the problem with blended fruits. The sugar content becomes way too high because you're not doing the work to break down the cellulose anymore. So you you now have this just super high blast of sugar that has your Well, I don't do it very often. Okay. But I do I do blend vegetables. Vegetables mm -hmm. are very good blended. They mm -hmm. really are. And I think we need to take a break. Well, eagle eye over there. <laughs> I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, KHTS. The big one is back. Circus Vargas, Circus Vargas, Circus Vargas. The biggest big top is back in town. Circus Vargas presents their new mega-hit production, Steam Cirque, on the Big Top at the Antelope Valley Mall, October 19th to the 23rd. Then at Valencia Town Center, October 26th through the 30th. Always the finest in live entertainment and fun for the entire family. See death-defined acrobats, daredevils, comedians, and much, much more. Arrive early for some interactive pre-show fun where your kids can be the circus stars. Discount coupons available at Camacho Auto Sales. Don't wait. Get your tickets now by calling 877-GOT-FUN-1 or go online at CircusVargas.com. It's the ultimate entertainment extravaganza. Don't miss Steam Cirque at Circus Vargas for memories that last a lifetime. The big one is back. Circus Vargas, Circus Vargas. Circus Vargas. 
Did you see that car? Isn't it the best? A moving advertisement. Command eye-catching attention with the vehicle wrap by Feathers. Feathers can turn your company vehicles into a cost-effective moving billboard. Their high-quality, high-resolution vehicle wraps deliver excellent marketing exposure. Feathers works closely with you to clearly display your message. Whether it's for branding of a new product, increasing name recognition, or promoting an event, Feathers Vehicle Wraps gets the job done. Feathers on Soledad and Canyon Country across from Edwards Theaters. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one advanced audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Discover Verano at Aliento, a 55-plus community with exclusive resort-style amenities designed just for you. Join us as we celebrate the grand opening of the new club at Verano on Saturday, October 21st from 1 to 5. Come party at the new clubhouse and see our model homes. We'll have music by the pool, refreshments, and more. From the 14 exit Golden Valley Road, Aliento is located off Golden Valley Road in Oak Crest. See you there. It's allergy season again. You've tried it all, yet your sinuses continue to be a problem. Try something different, something holistic, something that will really work. Acupuncture. Kathleen Keneally is Santa Clarita's acupuncture and Nate specialist. She's been treating many of your neighbors and their children for allergies, sinuses, headaches, and pain. Find out how acupuncture can improve the quality of your life. Call Kathleen Keneally for a free phone consultation. 252-4100. 252-4100. Acupuncture. It really works. Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, KHDS. And we're speaking with Dr. Thomas Palucki, and we're talking about health and how to maintain our health. Yeah, I almost hesitate in using the word health because it's so corrupted. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Most people, in order to get their attention, you can't talk about health because they're like, oh, you know, you have to talk about their headaches or their joint pain or their arthritis or their stiff back or they you know their inability to walk around or their digestive issues or uh, so e even where i come from we have to talk the language or it doesn't matter if if i go out there and i say this is how you be healthy you can't i can't do a public talk on health it, it's a waste of time and nobody shows up mm. but if i do a public talk about migraines or hormone imbalance mm. or uh thyroid or y y people will come people will come and pay for a condition that they have they mm -hmm. understand that okay this is health my thyroid doesn't work. Now I understand what health is. Now I have to do something about mm -hmm. my thyroid. But if I give a talk about how to be healthy, how to raise a healthy family, how to ensure health, how to get – nobody shows up. Nobody even cares. So this is why you see so many drug commercials all the time. I mean they've got it down. They understand how to talk to people. They understand what people are looking for. They re remove accountability. They remove any responsibility. They constantly lobby Congress to make sure that they're going to get paid one way or another, whether the person can pay for it or the government has to pay for it or the taxpayers have to pay for it or whatever. They don't care. They're getting paid one way or another, and then they can just keep on putting out that message that – well, if this hurts, you take this pill. If that, if you've got a problem with this, you take that pill. And that drives the whole system of health care in this country. And in an earlier segment, I, 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 we don't do a good job of keeping health, peop, our people healthy. Yes, we do have the best specialists in the world because they get paid more to live here than anywhere else on the planet. So you'll hear things about this star or this 
politician or whatever goes to this facility and you know in this prestigious but the reality is for the general person like us we we don't really have access to that and we're doing a horrible job at keeping our population as healthy as third world countries mm, but well, you, you know, know it's it's always annoyed me <clears throat> that legislators and people in government, they have the best health care around. Insurance. They well, they, again, they don't have health care. They, they have crisis management, the most expensive form of dealing with issues. They have access to higher quality crisis management than the average person yes. does. And how does that happen? Why does it work that way? Just They're no better earlier, than we are. The money. Yeah. Money, money talks. Money That's, talks. And uh, who's listening? Yeah. So that's the problem. But, you know, in the evening times, we talked about how the news comes on and you're inundated with pharmaceutical commercials. And uh, that's a problem. Trying to be pure in discussing health care is, as you said, very difficult. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, let them talk about that. This is our show. And I think we can talk about the purity of good food, and we've talked about that already, the, and how exercise also can play a role. I mean, these are things that, you know, can't be quite corrupted. You know, they're not going to talk about it on your evening show because, you know, they always have the disclaimer at the bottom, this can cause heart attacks, strokes, uh, bleeding dyscrasias, cancer, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if we talk about exercise, you know, what's the downfall of that? Literally, it's somebody falling down maybe, somebody straining a muscle. But the fact is that being able to exercise and get our heart rate up and move our joints and, you know, do things that make us perspire and keep our weight down, these are all the things that are pure and we can, we can talk about and enhance on this show, which we have done before in the past. Sure. So... Movement is important. Drinking water is important. Eating as close to natural as possible is important. The, and there's a push for that now with paleo and 360 and all of those trendy type things. But the reality mm -hmm. is eat simply. If you can eat like your great grandparents did, you're going to be much better off. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. J simply because they didn't have all these chemical concoctions That's that... True are being passed off in plastic boxes or plastic bags or plastic bottles that we can we think is food it's not our body doesn't recognize it and our liver has a real hard pro a real difficult time making any sense mm -hmm. of this stuff and that's why we see so many problems with livers and kidneys and digestive tracts now that W weren't so much the case in, in previous generations. We're seeing more and more challenges to our digestive system, our detoxification system. And then when you compound that with, even if you never take any form of over-the-counter prescription medication in your entire lifetime, we can find it in your body right now. We can find it in all the tissues of your body right now because it's nearly impossible to get it out of the food chain and out of the water supply. We're finding uh, antidepressants in wild-caught salmon. So, well, like, like, I antidepressants mean, that have come because the, the ones that have been dispensed Per prescription have gone into the water and drained into the ocean and worked its way up through the, the food, food chain. chain. Exactly. And then, and, we're, and I'm not even so. That's just contamination. That's just our drug culture washing into the ocean and wind, finding its way back into the food chain. I'm not even talking about what happens in the food industry. The, the, the plants have drugs in them. The uh, animals are raised on drugs. Really serious stuff. I mean, really hormone disrupting hormones. They raise them on hormones to get them big, big and to market as quickly as possible. Hormones and antibiotics are commonplace in, yep, yep. in the industry. And they, they justify it in that 
Well, in a smaller space with a smaller footprint, we can produce more food for the public. And that's how they justify it when they're making their backdoor deals through the, you know, the lobbying and the politicians. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm into a smaller footprint. I'm into having three cows produce the amount of mo milk that 300 used to take. That, that really makes sense to me. And it's a sales pitch, but it's, it's not real. There are serious consequences. And we're living with them. The, um, we talked about purity of life and food and exercise, but one of the things our seniors face on a daily basis is the psychological side of getting through the day. Yeah. And that is not an easy task because some of our seniors get up and they have the physical problems with uh, joint discomfort and a limp and uh, things like that. But the other side is how do we discuss issues of health care related to a person's psyche, a senior's psyche. How do we, how do we do that and make sure that um, they keep that extra edge moving forward? And you know, one of, you know, w one of the things I always talk about is having purpose. Yeah. When you have purpose, mm -hmm. you know, it changes your whole life. But there's so many other aspects related to the psychologic side that we can advise our listeners to as well. That could be beneficial to it. that Absolutely. doesn't include food and it doesn't include drugs and well i think it all ties together it all oh, absolutely. it all ties it all together ties. but absolutely as far as does. i'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist i have minimal training in either of those backgrounds but i do know a few things from my own 50 years of personal life experience whatever you focus on manifests so if you are focusing on your stiffness, your pains, your aches, your digestion, you, right. the fact that you, th there's very few people left that you grew up with, then, yeah, you're going to have a real hard time getting through the day. But instead, if you focus on getting out, getting up every morning and having some purpose that is higher than you, something that is bigger than you, regardless of your aches, regardless of your pains, regardless of your health challenges, regardless of whether you have any family left or have any of the friends that you made throughout your lifetime, going out and making new friends because you're involved in something bigger than you. And Barbara, you're a perfect example of this. I believe a lot of your vitality comes from all the things that you're constantly involved with. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's probably true. And a lot of that keeps me up. Mm -hmm. I'm an up person anyway, but several things have happened in the last five or so years that would probably destroy most people. Absolutely. You, know? you beat and cancer, for yeah. one thing. Five years yep. clear. Five, five years. years clear. Congratulations. And 81 years old. Isn't yep. that, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, most people, Both ha of my parents half your away. age, when they hear that diagnosis, they just give up. That's true. One way or another. The that's doctor true. gives them an expiration date, yep. and they believe it. And I think that is the biggest crime in medicine there is. Absolutely. No doctor has any right to, t there is no expiration date on any human being with any condition on the planet. And unless the doctor is there to say, okay, this is gonna be a challenge, here's the best strategy, we're gonna do everything we can to make this right, how do you wanna proceed? And unfortunately, a, a lot of doctors' hands are tied because they know that they can't get it through insurance. They can't get it through the hospital administration. They can't. This person is on their own. They are uh, basically fast-tracked for hospice care. Let's get this person out of the equation as quickly as possible. And that's health care in this country now. And he, you hear it thrown around like death squads and stuff like that. Uh, that is a little scary, but the reality is that people are not getting the care they need because it is a cost to the facility and that is disturbing and it's truly unfair for someone to make that decision for another individual to subtract hope out of their their life uh, and say we're giving up on you or we don't have the money or your insurance won't pay for it that's an abomination that as we talked about earlier, how healthcare in our country differs from healthcare around the world. 
And this is why if you're listening to our show right now, uh, you should think about this is purpose. This is how one should say, I'm getting off my couch and I am going to go out and fight for my rights and the rights of our seniors around me that will make a true difference in how we can live a better life in our country. Many of our seniors have made tremendous sacrifices to get this country to where they are. It's not fair for them to be put by the wayside now uh, when people are, these panels, these death panels, are making choices for them. No one should be allowed to do this, but it continues to happen in our country. The senior population is the largest population right now, yes? Yes. Am I wrong about that? Um, I it's don't pretty, think it's, so. I think 50 and above would be the largest population, yes. So boomers and older are the largest population. We don't have to take it. No. I'm not talking about, you know, picking up automatic weapons. I'm talking about how you vote, how you spend your time, how you what you invest your energy in you w they want to believe that you're going to behave like a sheep mm -hmm. and they're going to herd you exactly the way that is going to benefit them the most that's going to put the most profit in their pockets and you can either accept that and behave like a sheep or you can start acting like what you've you've done for yourself and for your family and for your community how about this though thomas what about this look back at why your family came to this country yeah and i know on both sides of my family they came here for freedom right for to have voice to be independent to have opportunity that's why they're here and i know that if I don't continue to fight for those rights, then my ancestors will turn over in their grave. Yeah. And I'm not going to allow that to happen. So all of those sitting, listening to our show, you know, if we're talking about food and we're talking about exercise, you know, how to get good health, uh, the psychological part of this is purpose and knowing that you can step forward and step up in our country and have voice and move our country forward for better, for better care for everybody. And that will make a difference. Yeah, I, be I believe that is possible. I have to. I have to believe that every day that I get up, that I am making a difference, that I am not part of this problem that I see. It's easy for you to complain. Everybody has an opinion. I don't like this politician. I don't know. I don't like this. But I don't like this movie maker. I don't like this. I, you know, I don't care. I, I mean, I have unfollowed so many friends because all they do is rant about problems. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't care what how you feel about it, how you're so uh, ang angry about it. What are you doing? Yeah. You, do, you don't like that movie maker? Then boycott. You don't you don't like that politician? Don't go stand out in traffic. I mean, that's ridiculous. But it does show that you care, we care, this community cares, and we need to move forward. And we need to move forward with a little break right now. I'm talking with we are talking with Dr. Thomas Palucky on your hometown station, KHTS. Little I Leaders is the newest preschool in the Santa Clarita Valley. At Little I Leaders, our outstanding teachers lead with intellect, perspective, and heart. That means our programs provide a warm, nurturing atmosphere to meet the unique needs of each child. We believe that play is a powerful form of learning for young children. That's why our kids have every opportunity to learn through the magic and excitement of play. Parents, schedule a tour today by calling 303-0400 or online at littleeyeleaders.org. Lots of people can build websites, even your sister-in-law's cousin. But there's one Santa Clarita company that specializes in designing websites for your business, Small Dog Creative. The Small Dog Creative team are local designers who are hands-on. Their talented team of experts build premium websites and redefine branding. Small Dog Creative doesn't just build websites, they'll upgrade your business's online presence and turn your business into a powerful online brand. Small Dog. Boop. 
Creative, Santa Clarita's most innovative web and design company, smalldogcreative.com. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one advanced audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Breaking news, as they say. Presto Pasta has been voted 2017's Best Italian Cuisine in the Daily News Reader's Choice Best of the Best Awards. Wow, that's four consecutive years Presto Pasta has won this coveted honor as Best Italian Cuisine. Discover why Daily News readers with discerning taste choose Presto Pasta year after year as Best Italian Cuisine. Visit Presto Pasta in the River Oak Shopping Center in Valencia. Presto Pasta, real Italian. It isn't often when we see a company launch in Santa Clarita and become an international sensation. In 2010, Jen Gerard founded Whitening Lightning in her Valencia kitchen. Now it's a booming international sensation. Leading actresses and international models have switched to Whitening Lightning to avoid the mess, hassle, and sensitivity of other products. Whitening Lightning's simple Dial a Smile kit will dramatically turn your teeth wider in just 20 minutes. Rediscover how white your teeth can look. Visit whiteninglightning.com, whiteninglightning.com. Coming soon to the Canyon Santa Clarita, Gin Blossoms, Eddie Money, Chris Christofferson, Timothy B. Schmidt, Patula Clark, Tower of Power, Berlin, Todd Rundgren, Jefferson Starship, John Hyatt, The Spinners, Doc Inn, Lynch Mob, English Beat, Robbie Krieger of The Doors, Cinderella's Tom Kiefer, Led Zepp again, Donovan Frankenreiter, Boogie Nights, and many more. Soulful Sunday Brunch every Sunday, Country Nights on Wednesdays, and they're the perfect place to host your holiday parties and special events. The Canyon Santa Clarita, where music meets the soul. Tickets available through Ticketmaster. Your hometown station, KHTS. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I Welcome back to the Senior Hour. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on your hometown station, KHTS. And we're speaking with the inimitable... Inimitable. Inimitable <laughs> Dr. Thomas Palucky. Thank I've you. got to find another name for yeah, you. Yeah, abominable. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 not abominable, <laughs> inimitable. The bumble. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we've been talking the, the hour about... about health and uh, it's um, diluted so much uh, by the industries that are out there that we really can't get full concepts of people because they're looking for just the tweet on it. They're yeah. looking for the you know, 140 uh, characters. characters that uh, will tell the whole story and health is not that way. Yeah. And certainly you can go ahead and, you know, emphasize certain diagnosis and certain symptoms. But, you know, today what we tried to do is we tried to talk about um, health care in general, from the food that you eat to the exercise that you do and the psychological side of uh, how you handle life. And that's not an easy task for our seniors. It just isn't. But I think we brought that forward a little bit and try to get out some of the impurities that are there with the healthcare system in general. Yeah. So, uh, really bad segue. <laughs> people, I don't know that people are ready for their, that message. Yeah. So when we talk about health, I, I, when I talk to seniors about health, it's, I kind of have an idea of what hurts, where it hurts, and give them options on how to deal with that that don't include another pill that they have to take mm -hmm. every day yep. just so that it doesn't hurt so bad. Okay. My key is trying to get people moving, getting mm -hmm. oxygen flowing, getting joints lubricated. As much of the joint is left, we want that joint moving so that there is less aches and pains. And it's done in a way that doesn't isn't too scary i mean you've been with me for a while 
and the the worst thing the first time that you've ever had any pain was when i used a a, a vibration device on you but the hand the hand treatments never hurt no no mm -hmm. it's amazing too but you know it, it's interesting we are responsible for our health and well-being nobody mm -hmm. else is right you know and if something's wrong with us physically then we need to take care of that, find a doctor who will do that or help us do that without pills. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for that, mm -hmm. I, I can help. A lot of people yes, don't I even know. want to know. They, oh. they, they just are so conditioned by all the commercials that they see or hear or read or have been influenced by everybody that they talk to every day that they're just looking for a better pill to take. Mm -hmm. unfortunately and in that vein i'm not uh, you know unaware of that that's why we created our natural product line to give people options natural options that are non-toxic that have good scientific validity of dropping inflammation dropping pain responses improving digestion mm -hmm. improving the detoxification pathways in a totally natural way that even if your symptom doesn't go away. It's something good for you because it's actual food stuff. If our listeners want to get a hold of you, Dr. Palecki, how do they do that? 661-753-9340. That's 661-753-9340. Dr. Yes. Thomas Palecki, great conversation, emphasis yes. on health today for our <laughs> seniors. Uh, thanks so much for being on our show today. Thank you. We are sponsored by Advanced Audiology audiology and comfort keepers in home care listen to us next week on the senior hour now go and enhance your quality of life